Welcome to Pinball Mayhem. Today we'd like to do a first part of exploring and uh, fixing up this booze barometer. So uh, let's have a look. I uh, just got it home. I did have time to remove the base. The base is particle board. It's about an inch thick, uh, a little bit bigger. Uh, it was completely rotten and falling apart. It was covered in uh, a vinyl like contact paper that made it look like oak grain. Um, we're going to make a, uh, a nice solid wood varnish or stain and varnish it up so uh, uh, it's gonna look look better than original so let's let's take a look at this game it is uh, nickel based so you put a nickel in and uh, it would light up and the goal is to get the handle as far over there as you can now it's sitting on a uh, insulated uh, rubber and the handle is metal and it's connected on the inside so if you touch the light would go off it would make it make a chime uh, the farther you can get before you touched, the uh, less the <laughs> less drunk as as you uh, apparently are. I like the uh, sober as a judge. That's a that's a fun statement. Uh, looking at it, it's uh, it's in okay shape. They do make vinyl decals replacement. This it comes from about the 50s, and it's battery operated. I'm gonna just turn it around. Let's take a look at the back. Uh, it would have a uh, six volt cell battery here that would be connected to these two tines. Very, very simple on the inside. We have a spot for the coin box which is missing, so I'm going to have to look it up and see if I can find something, even a, a small cardboard tray or something plastic. It's not going to be hard to find something to fit there. Uh, the coin mech is uh, very simple. We have this relay, and here's the coin switch. So uh, I'm going to drop a nickel in. The cool part is that the coin being held is part of the mechanism. So the coin's going to drop in, and it's holding the, sw the coin switch until uh, the relay is pulsed along with uh, the, the bell that allows you to uh, pretty much end the game. It's a very simple game that way. And it does have a coin return, which... Uh, if you decide to cancel it before you hit the end, uh, get your coin back. Actually, that could be a feature. If you get all the way to the end and you win, hit the coin return and get your money back. <laughs> uh, very, uh, very simple, but can be a, one of those uh, nickel games that are very addictive. One thing I haven't done is I haven't seen if this thing works. I don't know. Um, positive or negative is not marked because it's a simple circuit. I, I don't think it really matters. And uh, let's uh, get a nickel ready again. Uh, well, one thing I'm going to show you is this: this is the uh, the bolt that was holding the base to the top. So if you get one that doesn't have the uh, the bolt, it looks like it's about um, an inch, inch and a quarter uh, flat head, uh, quarter twenty uh, bolt with just a, a nut. I was surprised there was no lock washers on the top. It doesn't look like it was ever disassembled uh, before. It, so I'm, I'm assuming that this is. Uh, this is our original and no lock washers was original. It is in wood, which if you tighten it up, it does provide you a little bit of tension. So maybe they didn't need, decide they didn't need lock washers. I got a DC power supply back here. And we're going to take the handle and put it on the rubber. I'll move it to this side so we can test it. So it's not making contact. Um, here's where the out the ring. So I got my DC power here. It's it's a 6 volt battery. This is not the best uh, power supply so I'm going to crank it up a little bit to like 7 volts. Clip this on. Clip that on and notice it's not doing anything. If I pull that you see the light comes on. Very dim. So it could have been a brighter light. And what happens when I make contact? Let's try dropping a nickel in and see what happens. Doesn't do anything. Maybe it needs a little bit more voltage. Let's try the opposite orientation. Who knows? 
here's the cord going in. I could have a broken wire somewhere, so it looks like I have some work to do. Something's, uh, something's not working, right? Well, that's going to be part of the fun of a uh, project, a uh, game you never had before, is learning what to fix it, what's new. I'm thinking maybe I can throw some different lights back here, something that's going to have a better glow to it. Uh, we'll see. Uh, turn this off before I short it. part that makes me excited about this is it, it was... Uh, displayed in a local bar in town for probably about 10 years in the 70s and uh, the owner of the bar sold it to me recently he uh, he said that he got it uh, back in the beginning of the 70s from an antique store so at that time it was considered uh, considered old and he just liked to sit at the end and just everyone uh, would get together and pretty much have competitions after drinking see how far they could get it. he said it was, it was a real hit uh, looking forward to seeing this all fixed up I'm going to try to disassemble, uh, clean it up, up with some uh, awesome to uh, remove as much nicotine without removing the, the printing. I want to kind of polish the chrome up. I, I'd like to keep as many of the fasteners original. Clean the bolts that hold the bottom up. I'm going to keep everything original except for, of course, that wood. Uh, I'm missing the lock on the striker and the, uh, the coin box, but I, I think I should be able to get this. Thanks for watching. I uh, look forward to part two when I get it even more uh, put together. Uh, get the wiring sorted out and figure out what's what's going on and why is it not working for me Thank you very much. If you like this and you want to stay uh, tuned, please make sure you subscribe